Today is Friday, April 3rd. BB Shelvin, 59 years old. I am on day 11 of a water fast that I have started. Started on Monday, March 23rd. When I woke up, I poured me eight ounces of distilled water, cut a lemon in half and squeezed it into the glass of distilled water, which is my routine every day for the past many years. I get up in the morning, the first thing I do is pour me an eight ounce glass of distilled water and squeeze half a lemon in it. And I've been doing that and I can't tell you when I've had a cold last. If I begin to get the sniffles, I just tank up on lemon water. Squeeze me half a lemon in eight ounces of water, a whole lemon in 16 ounces of water. And I uh, just start drinking. And the next morning, uh, no more sniffles. Um, but what I'm, I've decided to do as of Monday March 23rd, I decided that I wanted to take my health back. I've been studying the teaching of Dr. Sebi, who was a nutritionist and someone who has opened the eyes of a lot of us uh, about our health in this country and the way we eat and the food that we're eating. We are eating food that is killing us, that has caused us to have sicknesses that we should not have. And because of that, I've decided at 59 years old to just do something different that I haven't done all my life. And to take this body, this wonderful work of God, and see what it'll do if I just take away all the food that I have been eating for all my life and the way I eat, just take it away, just stop. I just wanna see what my body will do, how my body would take it. I'm gonna be very honest with you on this video and throughout this journey. I'm going to be honest to say that I don't have my health that I had when I was a young man, age 30, when I was in my 30s. And I probably believe I began to lose it when I hit 40. I'm from 40 till now. I just felt it going away gradually more and more, year after year. When I hit my 50s, I was pretty much different. 49, 50, I was different. And from 
50 till now, it's just, to me, it's gotten worse to me. Gradually, I know it's from within that I know. I know my body, I know what I have been. And I believe that you don't lose what you were as a man or as a human being. But I can only speak from <clears throat> excuse me, the man side of things as a man. Um, I, I just want my health back. I believe that I have arteries and blood vessels that are clogged. I haven't, I don't go to a doctor at all. I don't get so ill that I believe I need to see a doctor, but I've been to a doctor in a few years. I went to the doctor maybe four years ago and had some work done and some tests run, but there was nothing really that gave them alarm in my test. But as a man, I know that I've lost what I had as a man. So, what I want to do is do something that I've never done and do an experiment on myself and try to test the limits of my body and test exactly what my body will do. So on March 23rd, on a Monday morning, I got up and decided and I wasn't going to eat anymore. So I've been uh, only drinking spring water that is bottled from the source. No bottled water that they, just because it's in a bottle. No, all bottled water is not good. It's not good for your body. It's not healthy. It's, you don't know what's in the water. They take water from the tap and put it in a bottle and sell it to you and market it as something different and fresh. And it's, it's just not true. It's just America doing what it does. It's trying to make money. And, I, and it's all over. It's bottled water. It's food. It's everybody does it this capitalist society is about enriching itself so I won't get into this merchant what people do to get money but this is about you this is about me stepping out of that and into the mirror and looking at ourselves and looking at myself and saying, I want the truth. I want to know the truth. I don't want to be in the advertisement of things that are for sale. I'm stepping outside of that and I want the truth. And the truth is that 
I could put something in a bottle and put a label on it and sell it and tell you how great it is. But I want to drink water that is from the earth, just pure, pure, pure spring water. So I look for bottles of water that says bottled from the source and all bottled water don't say that. The signing doesn't say that and um, other bottled waters don't say that. So I, uh, I read the label and if it says spring water bottled from the source, that's what I drink. So. I still start my day off with lemon water, distilled water, because I'm fasting. I don't drink distilled water normally because it, it will rob you of your minerals, your body's minerals. So it's not for drinking. Just during this time that I start my day off with it, just eight ounces of it, just to uh, prepare my di digestive system with. Uh, uh, half a lemon but anyway after that what I do is I, I get uh, fresh squeezed orange juice just for my sanity since I'm fasting and not eating anything I, I'll uh, before I go to work when I wake up and after I've had my lemon water. I'll drink my uh, fresh squeezed orange juice, but and before I drink that, I'll put it, I'll pour it in a cup and put it in the freezer, pour as much as I want. It, it may be 12 ounces of it. And um, I'll put it in the freezer and let it get slushy, you know, and it kind of, and when I'm on my way to work, I'm just drinking on it, and it's slushy, and kind of gives my brain the, the illusion that I'm eating something. It's just for my sanity. <laughs> so, I'll have fresh squeezed juice in the morning, but after that, I'm drinking water only water, spring water. But one other thing I do to help me to get through this fast is um, I take capsules of sea moss. The body, there's 102 minerals that the body needs and sea moss has 92 of those 102 minerals. So sea moss, I believe, has helped me to have the energy, even though I have not eaten for the past 10 days, I'm still able to walk my delivery route being a letter carrier, and I walk for a living. No offense to the letter carriers who ride around and stick their arm out the window to deliver mail. I get out of the truck and walk. So, salute to all the letter carriers who are still walking up and down stairs, down the sidewalks, and endangering themselves at the hands of unfriendly animals. But I was, I was um, wondering if I would be strong enough to still be able to do my walking route and do this fasting. And I believe taking CMOS has um, 
helped me to do that. So I take um, CMOS capsules, three a day, one in the morning, one in the afternoon, and one in the, in the evening. And all the while drinking my water. Now the first week of this fast, I'm a wine drinker. And in the evening, when I get home, the evenings were the toughest because when I first started, because I got all this junk food and stuff still here. I mean, what am I gonna do with it? I didn't throw it out to do this fast, so I still have this junk food. And dinner food and the packages and open the pantry, I got chips, my favorite chips and crackers and Girl Scout cook. So I didn't throw it out but coming home was the toughest. So to appease myself, I'd sit in my favorite chair, grab my bottle of wine, red wine, and I would pour me a glass and sip on it. And that would get me through the evenings and the nights. Because it was, it was, Tough when I, especially when I got home. But by like the third day, I noticed that I wasn't hungry. I didn't have hunger pains. I didn't want or care to eat. I didn't, it didn't bother me that I wasn't eating. And I would just sip my water every time I felt like I might be hungry. I'd just drink water. I'd sip my water. Whenever I thought about it, I'd sip water. And uh, I don't know. I, I was, I've been able to get through it. And I'll tell you that the immediate and first thing that I noticed that changed with my health was that before I started this fast, one thing that I was suffering from, and this probably had been going on for about a year, is when I have to pee, I mean, I really have to go. I mean, I would really feel the sensation was just, I'd have to really go out and be doing the pee dance, you know. And um, one of my good friends would always, I'd be talking to her and she'd say, you gotta pee. <laughs> That's how you know that you dancing. <laughs> and I'm a dancer anyway, I like to dance anyway, but that, food or pee <laughs> but um, and that it would bother me and not only that I would have to I would have this sensation that I pee and then maybe two hours later I need to pee again and this would be and this it wasn't because now this is before the before I decided to fast it wasn't because I was drinking so much water or anything it's just that I just, I would have to pee so urgently and so often. And it would, it was getting in the way of everything, work, you know? And, um, you know, a lot of people contribute stuff like this to, hey, you're getting older. No, no, man, no. I am getting older and I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with how old I am the fact I'm not as young as I used to be because I love the fact that I know a little bit more than I used to know. I've been through some stuff too. I've learned a little more and that I could share. So I, I kind of like this being old. I, I like it. Because with age should come wisdom. And I'm gaining a little bit, and I always wanted to be wise. 
And I'm not there yet, but with every day, and with every day, day I'm learning, I'm getting there. So even with this fasting, I hope to have something, good or bad, that I could share that will be knowledgeable not only to me, but to someone else. So I just want to give back, you know? And having longevity gives you the opportunity to do that. So I embrace my old age. I like it. But I did not like the fact that I had to pee so often. And when I had to pee, it was just unbearable. I had to really go. So I was thinking that when I was afflicted with this, I, I was thinking to myself, okay, maybe it's because I'm drinking so much sweet tea, which I loved. I used to, did not like tea Young when I was a younger man. I drank soda and stuff, and I thought, tea, I just don't like it. But in my older age, I would see other people enjoying tea so much, and I just wanted to enjoy it too. So I discovered flavored teas, and you know, you got peach tea and raspberry tea, and I was like, when I tried it, I was like, yeah, tea isn't bad. So I got hooked on tea, peach tea, raspberry tea, sweet tea. And so I was drinking that stuff. Not only that, so I, did, I thought maybe if I got off sodas and I'll replace sodas with tea, I'll be better. But things got worse for me. I, I, so I decided, okay, me having a piece of Often in the intensity of me, when I have to pee, that I really got to go. So maybe if I just get off tea and just drink water only, you know. And I tried that, and that did not alleviate the problem. I still had that sensation. So when I began to fast, I noticed first that what went away was my urge to have to pee so bad. By, I'd say, day three, 